Hey guys, it is Arika Misha. Welcome to my meal prep video. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, my meal prep videos. Uh, just showing you guys how I get everything prepped for what I cook for my channel. And today we have the pork shoulders blade steaks. Pork shoulders. It's a different kind of steak. Uh, but let's get into it. As you guys can see, I have my pork shoulder steaks all nicely cleaned up and ready doesn't that look beautiful nothing like a nice clean meat all right and I have my pan here I am not cooking I'm just meal prepping and you guys will see what I use this pan for it's gonna help me season my meat uh, usually I use my bowl but since these pork steaks are long um, and a little thick I'm gonna use this pan it's gonna make it easier on me okay so let's get into it let me first Hold on one second. All right, yeah, I wanna get my cooking scissors because I know I'm gonna end up cutting these uh, blade steaks in half because they're really big. All right, now let me show you guys how big these pork shoulders are. And I did get them on sale at Publix. Look at that, that is a nice piece of meat. That is humongous. All right, so I have two of those. Well, actually I have four. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut them in half because they're so big. Uh, let me see. I'll go ahead and cut. I'm gonna cut halfway across. Yeah, I'll do that. I mean, this is the size of one steak right here. The size of my hand. That's how big it is. So, I'm gonna put that over there. Okay. This is the other half with the bone in part right here. So, I'm gonna sit that there. And that's what I'm gonna do. Since they're so big, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them straight across like this. Okay. Okay, it's a close up of that meat. All right. Okay. I've got four, they came two to a pack for about seven bucks. That is a really good deal. Because usually, uh, one pork shoulder steak uh, is gonna cost you about 10 bucks. So, I got them for a really good deal. All right, let's get this last one cut up here. I cleaned them up. Now with the pork shoulders, you can, it doesn't really come with much fat and I usually leave a little fat on my meat anyway. So, all right, so we got everything all lined up here. Let's get this last piece on here. You guys will see. Okay, so let me move this out of the way wash my hands okay all right so let's move this back over here and yeah I've got my bowl here for when I'm finished I'll sit that over there all right so this is just so I'm using this pan just so I can wait let me make sure you guys can see hold on come back over this way okay so you guys can see all right, now the first season I'm gonna throw on here. And for measurement purposes, I'd say a tablespoon of each season because you guys know I use multiple uh, seasonings. So about a tablespoon of each. Uh, first one I have is the Slap Yo Mama. I wish I might try that. All right, and I wish my kids would try that. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna throw a little Slap Yo Mama on there. All right. Done about a tablespoon on each side. And of course you guys know I always use the Morton Season All. That's old school right there. I don't know what y'all know about that. But that Morton is definitely old school right there. All right, and black pepper. Put some of that across. Nothing like that fresh ground pepper whole another flavor right there and I'm going to be using the grill mates Montreal steak seasoning because these are like pork shoulder steaks you know so I'm still I still want them to have that steak flavor so that's why I'm using this 
gonna make them so good these are gonna be so good make sure you guys come back and see how I'm gonna be cooking these uh, pork uh, pork shoulders up and I've got the McCormick organic garlic powder sprinkle some of that across quick and easy yeah all right so we got that and regular parsley I got from the Dollar Tree just regular parsley and I'm just using it for greenery you know just to give it some color get that on there okay looking good now I'm also going to be using salt free uh, the Mrs. Dash this is the garlic and herb seasoning and blend really good you know of course you guys know Miss Dash is old school it, it looks like they just they changed it to just Dash but it's Miss Dash that's the only thing I've ever known so we're gonna throw some of that across there and once again that Miss Dash is salt free if you guys are familiar with the Miss Dash seasoning I think the majority of all their seasoning is salt free I'm also gonna throw on the Badia Saison uh, Tropical this is uh, ideal for meat poultry and fish really good show y'all that the body up sazon tropical sazon 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 something like that i think it's sazon we're gonna throw some of that across all right smells really good and one thing about i'll show you guys in a second what else i'm gonna do and the last thing is the mccormick himalayan pink salt and it you know of course this has a grinder Get this top off here. Come on the top. Okay, top don't want to come off today. All right, here it is. All right. Finally got the top off. Just gonna sprinkle some of that across the top, and that is all of my seasoning. Now, what I'm going to do, give me one second. I'm taking a sharp knife. Let me clean this off. Y'all know we always got to clean our stuff off. All right, so I'm just taking a regular sharp knife and I'm poking them. I was supposed to do this before I seasoned them. Totally forgot, but now one thing about this pork shoulder, it's already juicy and tender. It's not like a regular steak, you know, it's more like a pork chop kind of style steak. That's pretty much what it is. But I'm taking my knife. And I'm just stabbing my meat. This is going to help uh, as it's cooking those juices. It allows the juices to flow, to flow better. Makes your meat all nice and juicy and tender. That's definitely why I do this. Um, I do this to the majority of all my meat, pretty much. Uh, even my chicken. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised. Just doing something as simple as, you know, poking the meat, stabbing the meat up. How that affects how it cooks and everything. So, all right, so we did that. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Same thing. I'm telling you, this meat is gonna be so good. You can do so much with this meat. I'm not telling you guys how I'm gonna cook it. You gotta come back and see, but you can do so much with this meat. You can grill it, you can fry it, you can oven roast it, you can air fry it, you can uh, pot roast it. There's so many different things you can do to this type of meat. You know? So. Wash my hand here. Sit my knife down right there. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Add our seasonings. Now, this meat is going to go in the refrigerator. And it's going to be, I'm cooking this tomorrow. So, it's going to be marinating overnight. It's early in the morning. So, It'll, it'll have a full 20, 24, <coughs> excuse me, a full 24 hour, hours in the uh, refrigerator. I like letting my meat uh, marinate at least a day or two. Two days is the maximum. I'm not leaving raw meat in the refrigerator for more than two days. So, and of course I've got a really, I think everybody has it. It's like a really, that really cold spot in your refrigerator. That's where I keep the meat so it's nice and really cold. And I don't have to worry about it going bad. But for the most of the, most of the time, 
I usually uh, season my meat early in the morning for the next day. So that way it's got at least 24 hours, you know. All right, once again, just putting our same seasons on the other side. I'm telling you, I really love pork shoulder steak. And I used to get it all the time. But it just seemed like, I guess, since it was such a cheaper meat, people started buying it. And then, of course, they went up on it at the grocery store. You know how that goes. I guess they saw, you know, people was trying to get a cheaper meat. So they made it more expensive. I used to be able to get at least two pieces of, because uh, I usually have two in a pack. Now they pack them one in a pack. But I used to be able to get two pork shoulder steaks for about five bucks for two big large ones like this. Now they want to charge you 10. 10 for one. Yeah, it's, it's getting ridiculous out there. So we got to be smart with our money, especially when it comes to grocery shopping, because you know why? We have to eat. We got to eat. Whether you're trying to eat healthy, however you're trying to eat, you still got to buy groceries. So you got to be smart. Smart about our money. Smart about spending. All of that good stuff. All right. So let me also, I'm going to stab this side as well. Both sides. I'm telling you what a difference it makes in your meat. So just try it. You'll see what I mean. Your meat's nice and juicy and tender and flavorful. All the flavors go down in those little cuts that you made. Nice and juicy. Let me move this knife out of the way. All right, and that is it, guys. Let me give you guys a close-up look at a piece of that meat. Look at that goodness. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful ready to be cooked all right let me go ahead and get them packed in our bowl smells delicious they are nicely seasoned up i'm gonna get them all packed in here oh yeah everything all nicely packed in there they're gonna be so delicious. Mm-hmm. Let me move this out of the way. Wash my hands real quick. All right, and I'll give you guys another close-up of that meat. Nicely seasoned. It will be overnight, marinating overnight. That's it guys, meal prep, meal planning, all done. All right guys, make sure you come back, uh, check out what I'm gonna be cooking with the pork shoulder steak. Uh, also, don't forget to go in the description box, click on that link, that is the link to my second channel, that is my spiritual journey channel over there. Come and join me on my spiritual journey where I talk about my life with Christ, living for God, all that good stuff. So, all right guys, this is Arika Misha. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. That's Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, of course, at Arika Misha. Thanks guys, bye.